everlasting beloved of God, I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a world is season with Pastor Flourish. God bless you for clicking this video. You are not here by accident. God brought you here for a purpose. Please, people of God, if today is your first time here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. God will richly bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, another prophetic moment. Good tidings I bring your way once again. Yes, child of God, this world is specifically for you because you know your way of life is not in order. Yes, you are trying to please the Lord. You can't. Why? Because you are still holding on to your former way of life, which is not consistent with the will of God for your life. And because of all things, there are so many things happening around you. And you know that if you made up your mind, if you are determined to let go of these things that is not that are not consistent with the word of God, everything will be okay for you. This word is for you. God's word says in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14. If my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven. I will forgive them their sins and I will eat their land. Child of God, you need to humble yourself before God. You need to ask God for forgiveness. You need to ask God to cleanse you. Yes, you need to ask the Lord to give you a new life. If my people that are called by my name, because you are be called by the Lord. Yes, you are be called by the name of the Lord. God wants you to change your way of life. And when you are determined, when you are proposed, God will hear you. Yes. God will hear you. God will forgive you your sins, all the errors that you have committed. Child of God, one thing with our God, God is a lovely father. God is a faithful father. Yes. He will bring you out of situations. This is God for you. Whenever God brings out his children from any situation that you have put yourself into, he will bring you out and he will not hold it against you. Yes, child of God. Whatever you have done, whatever errors you have fallen into, whatever mistakes you have made, whatever crime you have committed, God is ready to forgive you. Yes, God is ready to forgive you. Come sincerely, humble yourself before him. Ask for forgiveness. He will give you a new life. It's what says, he will eat your land. Everything about you, God will hear everything. As if you have never committed any crime. As if you have never committed any error. God's word says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, Lord, and I shall be saved. For you are my priest. Child of God, when you ask the Lord to heal you, to touch you, to take away that thing that is stopping you 
from working with him, it will come true. He's ready to take it away. But what thing God wants from you, he wants you to be determined. He wants you to propose. He wants you to humble yourself before him. And he will change everything. Yes, child of God, let go. Let go of this way of life. You know it's not helping you. Yes. It's affecting your great destiny. So, follow the master. Walk with the Lord. And God will give you a great destiny. Because this way of life that you are living is destroying your destiny. But praise be to God Almighty. He can restore your great destiny back again. Yes, if you come before him, if you humble yourself, he will hear your land again. He will hear your great destiny again. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes, child of God, God bless you as you take a decision, yes, to humble yourself before the Lord and ask him for forgiveness. And he will give you a new life in the name of Jesus. May the peace that only Jesus gives rule and reign in your life now and always in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, we will continue in prayers.